We are talking about the major constraints that affect the international performance management process. And in this topic, we are going to talk about the uh, variable level of maturity of markets. Uh, you know that uh, uh, the multinationals, they are working in different types of markets. And it is possible that uh, a market of a particular product is, uh, in a, uh, is in different phase than it is in another country uh, so it is possible that the product that has been initially launched in one country but has an established market in another country so in this case uh, it would be difficult to compare the performance of the product which has been initially launched in a market and a performance of the product which is already existing in the uh, in another market so there could be uh, one of the issues of this variable levels of maturity of markets could be the market development in parent company market. So if you're trying to develop uh, the, your market of a new product in the parent company country, for example, if there is a product that is in America, which is multinational headquarters, and they are launching the product in America, ko launch kar so they have an established market for their other products which can what can it do it can uh, you know establish brands they can support new products so for example if there is already a line of products available uh, with uh, that that is that is related with that brand uh, and a new product is introduced in the same existing market which is of the parent country uh, it would be helpful uh, for that product to take flight because there are already established brands which are related with that uh, with that multinational and therefore people are going to respond more uh, if, uh, more quickly and promptly in that particular uh, situation uh, then new business ideas they can be cross subsidized by other divisions so if you are uh, trying to launch a new business idea in your own parent country uh, market that can be subsidized cross subsidized by other divisions uh, so they can absorb the initial losses which are uh, which may take place because you know you are launching a new business idea uh, so that is a situation in which uh, you have more support uh, to um, uh, develop the market of a new product in the parent country Whereas market development in the foreign subsidiary market, it is always slower due to lack of established network. So if, what, if uh, you are entering a new market in a foreign country where uh, your multinational does not have an uh, established network, what will happen is that the support that you get in your parent, com uh, in your parent country market that support is not going to be present in the foreign country. Uh, so comparing the, uh, the growth, the development and the performance of a product in your parent country uh, and comparing it with uh, the growth and performance of the product in a foreign country is something which must take into account the difference in this context that they are actually uh, uh, doing it uh, they are actually performing in the parent country and the other product is performing in the uh, in the uh, foreign country and then there are uh, variable customs and work practices uh, work practices they differ significantly in various parts of the world people do not work in the same way they are not that ambitious they are not that uh, they are not that uh, productive um, in various parts of the world. For example, if you go to New York, in New York, you will see that people are fast forward mein chal rahe hai as compared to the Pakistani environment. Here, the walk-in speed in New York, the walk-in speed is probably 1.5 or 2.5. So that means that those people, they are more productive, they are more a uh, gear towards performance whereas in pakistan people have a little bit more laid back uh, they have a laid back um, attitude similarly if you compare even within the countries if you compare between you know lahore and karachi uh, the attitude the 
the body language and the performance standards are different in these two cities in karachi the performance standards are uh, very much high and they expect people to perform professionally whereas in lahore it is a little bit more collective kind of a uh, situation in which people support each other and they are more um, lenient and they are more uh, uh, they are more not they are not that concerned about uh, you know achieving performance standards uh so there could be variations in customs and work practices that is explained by an example over here the author says that one does not fire a mexican manager because worker productivity is half the american average so mexico mein worker productivity jo hai wo half hai than the american average so in mexico that would mean that this manager is working at a level 3 or 4 times as high as the average mexican industrial plant so if a mexican person is working in an american company aur uske aage aap american standards rakh dete hain to iska matlab hai ki aap usse expect kar rahe hain ki wo jo uske local standards hain usse wo 3 4 guna zyada kaam karega here we need relevant comparative data not absolute numbers our harassed mexican manager has to live with mexican constraints not european or american ones and these can be very different the way we measure worker productivity is exactly the same but the numbers come out differently because of that environmental difference from this example you can see that uh, the multinational is measuring performance on the same standards but they are taking into account that the work standards of that particular local country they are much lower than uh, the american standards and therefore if you expect that the person will perform according to the american standards that is going to be actually a sort of harassment for him so uh, uh, this is something which must be taken into account and uh, must be incorporated in the performance management process of an international organization